Hello, my name is Kyle Davis, and this is Guardians Legacy, a project I've been working on with um, a group of people for about a year now. Uh, the intent for this was a linear RPG game where we have a few cool, interesting systems that uh, I've designed and had help with from the group. And this was a project that it was a little new for me because it was a leadership experience that I never really had before. So I learned to grow into that, into Scrum Master, into learning how management and a lot of the source control ends up working at a very high level for a wide range of stuff and trying to keep an overall vision together. Once we get into it, we'll see. We're uh, a top-down isometric view for what we wanted. Uh, and... We'll see. The first thing here is our little church and trying to get our our main feature in, which is our skill system. So for this game, you create all of the skills that you have uh, at your disposal. So I can end up making an entire skill here that gives me a bunch of different effects, and I can augment it out for however I want it with all of these different attributes. And then I can end up saving this. And then I will be able to use this in combat. So, for this game, we wanted to create an experience that was all of the old school, like PS1 style nostalgia, along with a lot of the new school mechanics that you now see, where it's very complex and there's a lot of stuff going on. And along with that, we wanted to bring in something that was a little bit different. So we have a bunch of like different skills and stuff that you can end up doing. So if we look around, we'll see that we have uh, our characters now rotating. This is me and my targeting for using the skills that I have in my inventory that you see I'm cycling through. In this case, we have a teleport here. And all of these are meant to be modular, to be used in our puzzle solving aspect, which each one of these puzzle solving skills are linked to the skills you use in combat. So it's specific elements that you equip give you certain puzzle solving skills and each one is made so it's modular enough that you can go through most of the game with a specific set of skills and still be able to do a lot of the stuff. And if we go back into our menu and we go over to what our basically battle scene would look like, this is our basic combat and what we would end up doing. So we've set up most of the functionality and breath work for what we want this to be for a playable alpha to show off all the conceptual stuff that we want to do uh, in the future with this project. So far it's it's a really cool experience. We've learned a lot. We've gone from beginning to end of a pipeline uh, from starting conceptualization all the way to what do we do to package our project for sale. So there's a lot of stuff going on under the hood and a lot of stuff that I feel really shows that this is an interesting experience to be able to work on and be able to do along with being able to make something that as we've done our playtesting people find fun and enjoyable which is always something that's really interesting to me. So this is just a demo of what our shop is will eventually look like. We don't have the functionality in yet, but we're working there along with trying to get a bunch of other stuff together. Um, we've done some interesting things with how the system works. So our entire system works off of prefabbing uh, scriptable objects. That's how almost everything in our game works and how we treat everything, along with our game being a circumstantial loading of terrain tiles. So as we walk here, we're actually loading in more terrain tiles as we walk, but we don't see, because of how our camera's set up, that we're outside of the LOD range for those to actually function. So, it's quite interesting. And then that's part of our teleport where we get to see different areas that we then have, such as our castle scene and a few others that we've been working on. And these are the areas leading up to the actual... Uh, town that we were in at the beginning for what we want to do overall. So thank you for watching. This, was, this is a really fun project that we're working on and we're 
happy to show you more as we go. Signing out.